Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on configure systems to boot into a specific target automatically. So um, within Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 um, onwards, you essentially get um, targets rather than run levels, um, as I've mentioned in a previous video. Um, so you've got various targets um, that are quite descriptive stuff like um, graphical targets, which means you've got a graphical interface, or you've got multi-user target, which is just um, multi-user um, functionality within Linux. And you've also got um, single user target. So it's just basically a single user, so it's just a form of separate recovery. So you can have, there's multiple targets and you can obviously create, if you wanted to, a custom target of some sort. So you can have the services that you actually needed. But uh, what we do is, as of, as of the objective, we'll just um, list the current target, the default target. We will list the, the current units are in that target, and then we will um, then change the target, reboot the system, and watch exactly what happens. So let's bring up the terminal as always. We need to sudo because so administrative user. So to get the current uh, default target. So systemctl, and then get default. So you can see graphical.target. So it just means you've got, you're going to get a graphical interface um, on this particular target. And we can see what it loads up as part of that. So we can go systemctl um, list hyphen units, units. And then hyphen hyphen type targets. And we can see all that gets loaded up. Okay, so you've got a basic system there. You can see the crypt setup, so for the cryptography. Multi user gets loaded as a part of that, which makes sense because you're going to need multi user um, functionality as on top of what you need for um, uh, the graphical interface. You've got all the um, RPC binding and stuff like that. Uh, NS, uh, NFS clients or, or the clock, all that sort of stuff is all needed. So you can see the bit, bit of description about each one, um, and you can you can see that all the ones that are currently uh, loaded there, the 25 loaded units, just for that single particular target. It's all like a, it's almost like a chain. So if you need, uh, I don't know, the graphical target, you actually also need the multi-user target, which also needs. NFS client also need NSS lookup, for example. So you can see it, it kind of builds up and builds out into this uh, 25 loaded units. We can actually do uh, the same command with the hyphen hyphen all to then show anyone that's uh, not loaded for whatever reason. So we can see this one's actually not found. So perhaps we have some kind of issue, um, something it's not loading up, we can actually see which particular unit has been missing and, and why. So we can see. Uh, the same some issue with the syslog target and um, it seems to be not found at the moment so that will be something i need to look at in the future right so the main um main step is to actually change the default target so we can do system ctl set hyphen uh, default and then we can set it as whatever we want so quick one a good one will be a uh, multi-user so we just do multi-user dot target and you can see it's removed the current default target and create a new one for the default target to multi-user target. So it's pretty simple what it's doing. So it's reading whatever, this is always going to be a, a symbolic link to this multi-user target. So now I can just do a system groups, and it will now be with the system. And we should just get a black screen prompt as per a multi-user target. Okay, so here's my prompt. Uh, so I'll log into my usual user. Okay, so I've got a normal prompt. I can do the, the same terminal command from here as I usually do. No problem at all. Uh, so it's essentially the same as the terminal. You can do all the same stuff. Just obviously we just don't have the graphical interface that's no problem so if we want to now um load up the graphical interface 
you can do set default if you want to and do graphical target. Okay, and then let's do another reboot. Oh, should be reboot, sorry. Okay, so I'll just reboot and we should have a graphical interface again. I'll move back to the usual login screen with the graphical target as previous. All you'll be asked for really in the exam is use system CTL, set default, and set select a new target. So in this case, I've just showed you how to go from multi user target to graphical target and back. So it's pretty pretty straightforward. Um, it's pretty easy to do. And that pretty much concludes the video. Um, so yeah, uh, once again, thanks again for all your support. Uh, keep subscribing. I will um, continue to release videos. I'm aiming to complete the entire Red Hat uh, RHCSA course. Um, so yeah, please check that out. Uh, we get, we're getting uh, pretty pretty near towards the uh, end of the whole thing now. So um, should be pretty comprehensive hopefully by the end of it. Um, yeah, and uh, as always, we've got my affiliate link, so in the description below, so we've got the um, Sophos, um, the Sophos Home uh, solution, which is will uh, provide free protection for uh, Windows machines. And it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty well, uh, pretty well regarded in the uh, security industry. Um, and also they've got some premium um, options if that's something that you're interested in. There's the hosting, uh, um, hosting. Uh, I use to host a CentOS uh, instance to use while I'm on the go uh, to, for uh, practice and also yeah, to use the, just to have a nice CentOS uh, or Linux uh, platform out in the cloud so you can use it to host websites or whatever you want to host uh, on there, pretty good. And um, we've got my tea, uh, tea public for my merchandise that you're interested in. And then finally, uh, my Kofi page um, to drop any donations down there will be fantastic. Yep, yeah, like, subscribe, and all that malarkey. Uh, that'd be awesome. Thanks a lot. Uh, catch you next video. Thank you again for watching.